I read this book many years ago. The recently updated version is rather good too, and it all started with Eve. I'm Indigo. If you have watched my video about the Bible study seeking him, you would know that I have been reading several works by Nancy DeMoss Walgamuth. This is an oldie, but a goodie, and it's been updated recently. The book is Lies Women Believe and the Truth That Sets Them Free. Essentially, it is a list of different kinds of lies women are typically fooled into believing and what God's word says about each of these lies. The chapters are organized by umbrella topics that list several lies that fall under each topic. For example, the lies women believe about themselves or about their emotions. Even though Mrs. DeMoss Walgamuth covers a lot of information, I was able to read through this book fairly quickly. Even though I would say this isn't the author's greatest work, it is certainly one of the most recognizable ones. As I mentioned in my review of Seeking Him, this book is considered one of Nancy's controversial works. In order to give this book a fair, unbiased chance, I would recommend to you to not read the reviews. Since I already knew what I was in for, I looked through them before I reread the book. Oh boy, was there an onslaught of criticism. These people, most likely women, Writing these scathing reviews appeared to have completely missed the point of what Nancy was saying about a lot of things, or were too prideful to admit that they were based in truth. For instance, in the updated section about children, there is a lie listed about control over our reproductive choices. Mrs. DeMoss Walgamuth basically stated that it was up to the spiritual discernment of the couple as to whether using contraceptives was permissible, since there isn't much in scripture to negate or promote it. However, she did mention that the types of contraceptives that abort implanted embryos were probably not acceptable. One reviewer commented that Nancy was of the devil and there was no way forms of contraceptives could be equated to abortion. Whoever this person was, she got the parts of it, but came to a very, very wrong conclusion. My point is that people are gonna react the way they do about things like submitting to your husband and not giving excuses for the way you act out during that time of the month. It is such a blessing to be challenged by the things you read, especially when they are based in scripture. And if something comes up that makes you upset, I challenge you to ask yourself why. God's word is good. His precepts are good, but they are never easy for us to live by. I am the prime example of what it's like to not live under them completely, and I am fully reaping those consequences even today. But by his grace and mercy, he is allowing me to relearn his commands and to live by them. Nancy DeMoss Walgamuth is a blessing, and there aren't many authors like her who would be so loving as to write these things that are unpopular in order to show women how to be set free from the lies of the enemy. It was easy to accept the truth of the lies about whether I'm good enough or if God can actually fully forgive my sins. I am so fortunate to know God and that he loved me enough to sacrifice his holy son in order that I may have a chance to know him. The lies that were a bit harder to navigate were ones like, I have my rights, and if I feel something, it must be true. If I am honest, sometimes I tend to be prideful, and realizing that Christ gave up his rights to sacrifice for me, even though he had every right not to, truly puts things in perspective for me. Being a slave of Christ is a difficult concept for me to understand. And though it makes me feel some type of way, I know that God knows what is best for me. And also to add on about the truth that my emotions aren't the truth, I would say that I am probably not the only one who struggles with this. My passions can be quite intense, but refocusing myself on the actual truth rather than fueling my emotions is a gift that has set me free before. This is definitely a book that I will reference over and over again until God's truth really does set me free. So I would recommend this book to every woman I know. I hope you enjoyed this review. I know it was tough, 
What other books would you like me to review? Leave your recommendations in the comments. Thank you so very much for watching.